All right. As you can see, I'm just fine. I hope you enjoyed our tribute to one of my favorite horror movies, Halloween. Actually, Dr. Loomis just showed up and took Michael Myers back to Haddonfield. But anyways, I figured since it's the spooky season and before we go to any haunted houses or theme parks, I would show you how to play one of the most iconic horror movie scores. And of course, I'm talking about John Carpenter's 1978 Halloween. So let's get started. All right, now you don't have to be a professional musician to learn how to play this song. It's almost more about the pattern than the actual notes, kind of like the game Simon you would play back in the 80s. Now the first thing you want to do is find any kind of keyboard or piano laying around, and you'll notice there's a group of three black keys and a group of two black keys, a group of three black keys and a group of two black keys, and what you want to do is you want to start on this group of two black keys, the first one here. That's your first note. And then your second note is the first black key of the group of three. And the pattern goes like this. One and two. And you can kind of hear the vibe of the song already. And then slide those two fingers down one note so you're in the white keys on C and F. And that's kind of the vibe of the song. We're not quite there yet, but that's what you're looking for. Just keep practicing that over and over again. Start on your two black keys I showed you. With that pattern. And then slide down one to C and F. Now I'll show you how to play the rest of the pattern. You start off on the black keys and do that pattern I showed you already. You play it two times, it goes, there's one, two, but on the third time it changes. You hit each of those notes once now. C sharp, F sharp, and then down to D, back to F sharp. Now here's the whole pattern with the right hand. And then just keep practicing that over and over again until you don't even have, until you don't even have to think about it. Now slide that pattern down one to C and F. Now C, F, C sharp, F. Then back to your original pattern. Then slide it down. And that's the whole right hand to part one. Now the left hand of part one, you want to find these three black keys on the left side of the keyboard, starting with the first black key of the group of three. And you want to go, which is an F sharp. Then it goes to an A, which is a white key in between. And then you want to go to the B flat which is right here. And that's the whole left hand. I know it doesn't sound like it without the right hand, but it's very simple. Just F sharp, A, and a B flat. Now I know it doesn't sound like it without the right hand, so let's do that now. I'll play the right hand melody with it, but just watch the left hand 
to see to get the timing down. Here we go. And you'll notice when I go to the third note of the left hand, that's when you go down a half step with the right hand. So let's play it one more time. Now down a half step with the right hand. And that's all of part one. Now once you've mastered that, you're ready for part two, which in the right hand starts on a B and an E, both white notes, but the same pattern that you learned before with one note, two notes, one note, two notes, and then on the third time it changes to that B, E, C, E. And just take it slow. And once you get that down, you're gonna, you're gonna shift down a half step. Now you're in the black keys, but play the exact same pattern with the, you're on B flat and E flat. And then it goes B flat, E flat, B, E flat. And practice that over and over. And then back to the other part, which is B and E. B, E, C, E, down to B flat and E flat. B flat, E flat, B, E flat. And that's the whole right hand. Now the left hand of part two you want to come down here to the left by these three black keys again. And you're in the white keys now. You want to find a E to a G and then up to an A flat. And once again, it, it doesn't sound very recognizable without the right hand. So we'll do that now. But just watch the left hand to get the, the groove of it. Here we go. And then once again, once you go to this third note, you want to go down a half step with your right hand. One more time. Down a half step with the right hand. And that's all of part two. And once you master that, there's only one part left to go. All right, now for the last and final part. You're almost there to the end. This is actually the easiest part, but it's kind of a stretch. Normally I play with my pointer finger and my thumb, but since this is such a far stretch, I usually use my middle finger and my thumb. And what you wanna do is find these three black keys, 
Not the ones all the way at the end of the keyboard, but these three black keys, and that's an F sharp. And put your middle finger there and do the same exact pattern you've been doing the whole time in the right hand with a one. And your thumb's gonna do two notes on this white B. The B's right next to these three black keys, but it's a white key, so. You can kinda hear the vibe of the song coming in there. Play that twice, and then of course the third time changes like it did all the other times. Down to a G B. So F sharp, B, G B. And that's the whole right hand. It doesn't go down a half step this time. You just keep playing this same pattern over and over again, which is kind of nice. And now for the final left hand part, you want to come all the way down to the left and find these three black keys. And the first note is the white key next to those, and that's a B. And then it goes over two white keys to D. Over one white key to E. And then the final note in the left hand is this F sharp right here which is a black key. And it doesn't really sound like it yet. But once again, once you put the right hand melody with it, it'll sound super spooky. All right, for the final time, let's put the two parts together and See what it sounds like. Here we go. And then the way the song ends, he stops playing the left hand and he just keeps playing the right hand until it fades out, basically. All right, well, that's gonna do it. If you made it this far, I definitely appreciate it, and hopefully you've mastered Michael Myers theme song or the theme from John Carpenter's 1978 Halloween. I think I love it so much because one man wrote the movie, directed the movie, edited the movie, and wrote the soundtrack to it. And it's an incredible movie still to this day, almost 50 years later. So you got to appreciate that. But anyways, that's going to do it for this piano lesson. I hope you enjoyed it for the spooky season. And until Michael Myers is chasing us again, I just want to say thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.